coming on? Uh, no, sir. I was waiting for I got until I got the uh, confirmation. I sent it out to to the people who follow me on YouTube, but I was waiting until you said, "Okay, let's go now." But now, okay, we about to go live, and we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off Off the Record, the People's Podcast. We have a great guest back for part three. This is an extreme honor, sir. I want to thank you again and thank your family. Uh, Brother Joshua, for coming on. First of all, assalamu alaikum. Wa well, alaikum salam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the First of all, I want to say that part one and part two did so overwhelming numbers on Facebook and on YouTube. As people, you have truly helped a lot of us, inspired us, and gave us information to help keep our faith strong and our personal journey strong as well. Um, the first thing I want to ask you, sir, is there anything, because you've been around a minister for so long, is there anything that has shocked you or surprised you about looking at him? Yes, sir. Well, the journey has been very long and very interesting for me and my family, especially uh, those who traveled with him around the world and inside America. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe it was in part one where I told you that I ran up to the car with my father, pulled up and I asked him, did he still believe in the honorable life of Muhammad and or Master Farad Muhammad? And he told me yes. Yes, sir. And he, then he said he would, he was going to rebuild the nation. And so that's the beginning. That's where we started. Yes, sir. He started study groups, you know, he started uh, moving around the country, started visiting the study groups. And, and then he started, uh, you know, teaching different places, mm -hmm. uh, small little places, you know. Yes. Sir. Uh, then we're traveling. And after a while, I'm watching my father and he's, he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger in his deliverance of the word. Then, of course, the Jews started uh, protesting him going to different colleges and universities. And so there was a college that we went to in the South and they were protesting and they had picket lines. They had, the police had horses um, and the police wanted to escort us to the arena but they wanted us to walk between the horses so that in case someone threw something or whatever, yes, sir. that uh, we wouldn't get hit. So we said, no, we didn't want to walk between the horses because if, if, the, if the crowd got aroused or they were already aroused, you yes, know, sir. but horses would get aroused mm. and we we between horses it, it would crush us you know horses are very powerful yes sir and heavy so we this the foi i can the mighty foi <laughs> yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir uh escorted the minister and and into the the building and so the crowd was, the place was jam packed. The minister came on and the Jews out, outside, I mean, hundreds of them. So minister started speaking and a police officer came up to me and hand me a letter. One piece of paper. So I read it and I walked over to my father with it and I passed him the, the letter 
And the letter, the letter stated that there was a bomb threat. And whether it's true or false, they would have to empty out the auditorium, get bomb dogs, search the place, and then the people could come back in. Yes, sir. So they asked us to shut it down. So the minister, you know, he read the letter to the, to the audience and told them that we are going to have to cancel the meeting because in order for all of them to leave out, the dogs to check, the bomb dogs to check the auditorium. Yes, sir. It would take hours because then you had to search all the people and, and it was thousands, you know, thousands of people. Yes, sir. And you have to search them. So it would take hours to get them back inside and for the minister to speak. So we had to cancel. But before the minister uh, dismissed the audience, he said, boy, this is a wicked people, mm. you know? Mm, mm. And uh, his God, Almighty God Allah. Yes, sir. Would visit them with great winds. He said, I feel some winds coming. Okay, yes, sir, yes, sir. So the people, you know, they were very upset because they love them, those who were there. Yes, sir. And uh, we went and got in the car, and the minister said, son, I want you to get out the car. I want you to go back to the hotel and get all of our things and meet me at the airport. I said, yes, sir. I said, but why, dad? He says, we got to get out of here before, you know, the winds come. So to myself, you know, as a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like saying to myself, yeah, right. Yes, sir. Yeah. yes sir. Right. Now, this is the first time he pulled this on me. Yes, sir. Uh, and I went to the hotel. I got in another car. I don't like, I didn't like leaving him. I like being with him right by his yes, side. Sir. Yes, sir. So now I'm separated. Now I'm, I trust the FOI, but I know things just run a lot smoother when I'm with him. You know, I got hands on and, and, and things run better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so I went to the hotel and packed up everything and rushed to the hotel. It was just a little drizzling in the air, you know. So we were able to get on the next flight going back to Chicago. And here we are on the jet, took off a couple of hours. We landed in Chicago. And all the TVs in the airport as we got off at O'Hara, they said an un unbelievable event took place and 88 tornadoes touched down in that state. Allah walk by. Yes, sir. And then my father just looked over at me, you know. I think he was <laughs> we were walking, you know, to the car, but um but we, we stopped at the TVs uh, yes, uh, and, and and just looked. And he said, My God is real. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. So <laughs> that was the first time. Yes, sir. 88 tornadoes just touched down, right, in the state we was in. And, and mm. this was not in the forecast. Mm. Mm. Then we were in Mississippi. 
and something similar happened and, you know, protest and, I mean, the Jews started coming out hard against the minister. Yes, sir. And then the minister said, oh, well, okay, I, I feel great rain coming this way. Allah, Allah, Allah. And, you know, he, he was able to give his speech, but after the rain, <laughs> 30 days later. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 30 or more days. Mm. And it flooded that part of Mississippi. And, and I mean, houses were going down the street. Another time, we were in Washington, D.C., and my cousin Malele was laughing because my father and I, we had to go back to Chicago and they had a couple of feet of snow. And the sun was out uh, in Washington, D.C. Mm. And, <clears throat> excuse me, as we were leaving, my cousin, she's laughing and my father turned around and said to my cousin, don't laugh too hard. He said, you're going to get some snow, too. Something to mm. that effect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the time, and, and it wasn't in the forecast again. The time we got on the plane and we were taxiing to the runway, the captain gets on the phone and says, uh, there's going to be a delay in the flight because there are heavy, heavy, heavy clouds. And, you know, it was raining hard, but it was getting colder, you know, as the time, as minutes were going by. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now... I'm puzzled, you know, because all I saw my father as was just a regular good person. Yes, sir. You know, and I knew he was a helper of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I know he was a helper of society, period. But black people first, we need it first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, these clouds, man, I mean, thick clouds. I mean, the runway was shut down at the moment and we sitting there and my father said, maybe I spoke too soon, son. I should have waited until we left. Mm, mm. Now I'm at the window. I always like the window seat. Yes, sir. And I'm looking and I see the snow coming now. So I looked over at him and I said to myself, who the hell is this dude? Mm, mm. I said, it ain't a coincidence because it happened more than once. Allah Akbar, yes sir, yes sir. He asked his God, his God answers. Praise be to Allah. Uh, yes, sir. So now I'm a little frightened. You know, I've, I've, I've watched the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, you see Moses talking to Pharaoh and he's Telling them about these plagues. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they came. Look, okay, this is a movie, this is science fiction, you know, whatever. Yes sir. yes, sir. But now I'm witnessing this for myself. This man sitting next to me is talking to his God, and I'm hearing him. But now I'm seeing these things that he's asking for happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So I started walking light around them, more so just observing them now on a whole different level. Kind of frightened. Yes, sir. Because it ain't no BS. This is Allah. real. Allah Akbar. Yes, sir. We were in Libya. And the Jews came to 79th and Halstead protest the minister and his quote unquote hatred and anti-Semitism. Yes, sir. And racism and all this. So they had busloads of Jews to pull up 79th and Halstead, but me and my father and the, and, and the delegation are, are in Libya. And Brother Akbar calls and almost in a panic voice. No, it wasn't the panic voice then. Uh, he called and just said, um, he, first of all, he was left in charge of the nation. Mm while the minister was out of the country. Yes, sir. He called and said the Jews were protesting. The people of the community were very upset. And he thought it was going to be a riot. Okay? Yes, sir. So the, the minister asked Brother Akbar to get the bullhorn and go out and ask the people, our people, to go back home, to go indoors, because his God would visit there very soon. So please make sure the people get inside. Now, I'm looking at him again. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And he just says to Akbar, call me when it happens. And Akbar says, Yes, sir. So he hung up. No, I'm sorry. He said, Tell the people to go in. His God's going to visit. There will be great winds coming through there soon. Mm -hmm. And we hung, he hung up. Maybe a, 20 minutes to a half hour later, Brother, Brother Minister Akbar called the minister back. And all you can do is hear me yelling, oh, praise is due to Allah. Yes. Praise to, to Allah. He said, Brother Minister, there's bricks flying off the building because the winds came so hard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Down on 79th Street in Halstead. They were flying off the building. Glass was shattering. The oh, horses, man. the police were on, you know, uh, garden. The Jews are, are, are waiting for this. Uh, riot or fight to take place yes sir everything was being blown over and bricks were flying hitting the, the people in the head and so i i guess you can imagine from that point there was no more protest <laughs> yes sir yes sir. <laughs> yes sir yes sir so Great. things like that happen almost immediately so it gave me a whole different perspective of my father. Mm. You know, he's my father, but he's not. Yes, sir. He's he's God's man. Allah Akbar. Yes, sir. And he hey. belongs to the people. He's he's for all of us. He Praise just wants uh, justice in the land for all of yes, us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't. It don't matter what color we are. We just want justice, freedom, justice, and equality for everybody. Praise be to Allah. Be question. Sir? 
I said, thank you for that question, man. It just, it takes me back, you know, and, yes. and I've witnessed so much by being his son and traveling with him. And I've seen him grow and develop. Okay, I'll get it for you. Boom. Okay, you got it. It's, it's still on mute, Uncle Josh. Okay, while we're waiting, thank you all for watching the People's Podcast. We're waiting for. Um, it's on mute, Uncle Josh. Okay, we're waiting for his microphone to get. Thank you all for tuning into the People's Podcast as we continue to hear this great history. Okay, you there? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, brother. Oh, no, sir. It's all good. Yes. I should have used my other phone because I get a lot less calls on it. Yes, sir. Um, but I'm watching him grow and develop, man. It's frightening, but yet beautiful. Praise be to him. And it comforts me because at the same time, <laughs> Because I know that God did not forget us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you, you, you read the histories and you read about the prophets and the messengers that came to other people and in other lands and, and freed them. Well, he didn't leave us because he left us more than one. <laughs> he left us. Boy Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we do have a savior. Praise be to Allah. Uh, Brother Josh, I want to ask you, what what is your favorite place to travel, whether international or domestic, um, either with your father or separate? What's your favorite place to travel? I really like California. Okay, okay. I, I actually love San Diego. Okay, it's yes, sir. So, so beautiful. And being out there with, with Brother Hugh, I love Brother Hugh, and he's such a great host. Yes, sir. He takes, you know, when I go to San Diego, he takes me around and visit different sites and, and water parks and amusement parks. I mean, yes, all sir. of that in the state of California, uh, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy California. It's one of the most beautiful states in, in the country. Praise be to Allah. To me, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I, I wanted to ask you, when you saw what what your father was evolving into, did, was it difficult for you to explain that to your family members or to your friends? Or how did you, or did you explain it to them what you were witnessing? I did explain it uh, to some friends, you know, because I would sit down and 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 uh, see. I, I, I'm evolving too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I used to party real hard, drink, smoke, get high, um, dance, chase women. You know, just, I was cool breeze. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes, sir. So when, when my friends start seeing me clean up and, and, and get my life in, a, in, in order, a better order, they start asking, what's going on? You know, they ask him, hey, you, you, you want a cigarette? You, you want a tooth? You, you want a beer? And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Well, what's wrong, man? Quitting? Yeah, I'm doing my best, you know. But uh, well, well, why, man? I said, it's, it's just time to straighten up. Mm -hmm. to, to get our lives together because there are things that I've witnessed that I know is real. And 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 my friends 
<laughs> always said it. Well, Josh, if we see Josh straighten up, uh, <laughs> the world must be coming to an end. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I said, yeah, it could be. You know, so other words, don't wait to clean up because the, the time is on us. Praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. My next question is, what advice, you have children and a grandfather, uh, what advice would you give to future fathers and uh, husbands? Yes, sir. Well, man, there, there is so much to talk about when it, when it comes to rearing children. But let's let's talk with about the marriage first before the hopefully yes, before sir. the child gets there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. There's so much preparation, and we have so many habits. Just as people, period. You know, we like this, that, and the other. There are so many things we need to study about just marriage alone. Because it's all by trial and error. Yes, sir. You know, and we first of all have to respect ourselves and then you respect others. You're gonna learn so much about that woman that you marry while you not while you're courting, it's when you get married because you're, you're in the same space all the time. Yes, sir. And then you, you start, you know, seeing quirks, little <laughs> things <laughs> that yes, you sir. really don't like. And some men just think I'm the man and I'm running this and I'm, I'm in charge. Man, yes, sir. I ain't really like that, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Y'all will be in that house boxing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. The women today fight back. Yes, you know sir. Yes, I mean? sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So the greatest advice I could give in a marriage or relationship is to be patient. Mm -hmm. Don't think you know it all. There's always something to learn. Yes, sir. Whether you're male or female. Yeah, the, the man is supposed to be in charge of the house, but it, it's a joint effort, you know? But you have to listen to your woman, man. Hear, yes, what, she's, hear what, what, what she's asking and, and do your best to please her. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying to become a slave or a robot. Work together as a unit, because when, when you start off, you're two separate places in life. But yes, when sir. you marry, you come together as one. So every time you make your decisions, you're making it for the both of you or the family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see? So just be patient and listen to her. And sister, listen to him. Mm -hmm. And as you all confer to each other, just come up with the best solutions for your future in the marriage. And then it comes with the children. You know, being a grandfather of 40 grandchildren, mm. ooh, and, and I still have, <laughs> I still have children that haven't had children. So I have more coming. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. Um, the, the grandchildren seem to run to the, the grandparents fast. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because, because they know mom and dad always, you know, rule with that, with that belt. Yes, sir. You know, or a ruler, or whatever you know, they use to discipline the child. But 
I see things so much different after having my first set of children. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of mistakes. Yes, sir. A lot of mistakes. And I see things so much different while my I'm taking care of my grandchildren. I don't discipline them. I'm not quick to discipline them physically. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we have to take time to take our child and sit them down and talk to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, whether they understand us or not, time will only tell, or they're hard-headed. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> if you ask them not to do something and they do it again, are they hard-headed or they don't understand what we're really asking. Mm, mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have to make sure when we communicate to our children that they really understand. And a lot of times we just say, do you understand? And you say, yes, sir. And parents leave me like, man, what the hell was he asking? <laughs> 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 yes, sir. So the child is left with a blank and we don't know it. So we have to make sure that we're communicating properly to these children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? and, and, and brother, we really have to teach these children about drugs and all this thing, man, because it's just destroying the fabric of our people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And all of us plan to be something great in life. You know, the parents put uh, goals in front of us to reach, and, and sometimes we reach them, and sometimes we don't. But when we don't reach our goals, that means we were distracted. Something yes, else took our attention. Yes, sir. And... <sighs> We just have to make sure they understand that we want the best for them. Yes, sir. We're not trying to just, they think uh, we, we don't like them or we don't, because you, you, you chose something different or we, well, parents kind of know what's best. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've been here. We, we just don't see it as children because we're looking from another view. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, you know, I was thinking uh, last night and I was thinking about the children that are asking for, you know, different sneakers and different designer shirts and different hats and different this, that, and the other. And you're paying all these hundreds of dollars and, 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 the, and the children want to just look that part. They want the most expensive watches. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but all of this comes from how their heroes are projecting themselves. Um, yes, sir. Rappers and uh, basketball players, whatever. Um, but all this money we wasted on a pair of sneakers, three, four, five hundred dollars. Do you know how much land you can buy? Yes, sir. You know, when I was in Africa, they only, I mean, a doctor would only make 50 US dollars a month in Ghana when I was mm. there. Mm. School teachers would make 15 to 20 US dollars a month. Mm. But the acreage isn't that expensive. But what they make in a month, we throw away in less than a couple of hours in a day. Just yes, taking sir. your girlfriend out to dinner, that's more than $30. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Buying your case of beer, that's 15 That's what somebody got paid for a month of, of, of schooling children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You go out and buy a case of beer, and that's somebody's monthly check. Yes, sir. No. So, 
ask your parents, you know, the children should say, just start, just start taking that, that money. You know, you don't need design. Just get yourself a good pair of shoes, a good sneakers, dress, dress well. But all that ridiculous money, let's go into the Jews. It's not going to the basketball player. He gets a small percentage, but the, the most uh, of the money, the bulk of it goes to, to the Jews. Yes, sir. Um, so start saving your money. Start doing some research. Get off those those little computer games and and uh, what do they call it when uh, when when they got uh, Xbox and is that PlayStation? Uh, Playstations and all that. Man, get up off those. Get up off those and do some research around this world. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. What land is going for? You know. And, and find you some land. Yes, sir. And in, and in Africa, the land, you can buy land there and there's gold and diamonds and all kind of beautiful stones. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a family or someone who has power to lead the group, you know, there's always one that sticks out in the group that yes, seems to run it, run everything. That yes, person needs to start pulling his friends together and let everybody start putting some money in the can for investments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope I answered your question. Absolutely, you did. Absolutely, you did. And thank you all for your comments. Uh, but I just want to let you know people are saying teach. Thank you very much. We, they send in their love, powerful testimony. Thank you very much. I had a quick question about relationships. I know you're gonna be honest. How important are looks important? Or are they not important? Well, it depends on your standard. Some people standards are Americanized. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. You gotta be light skinned. You gotta have thin lips. You gotta have a you know a. a, a, a narrow nose and this <laughs> man some of the most hell i've ever caught were from the finest women i've been with mm, mm. they're stuck on themselves the beauty lies within that person yes sir you know the heart is is important and 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 this, those who think that they're not that attractive are some of the most beautiful people I have ever met in my life. Yes, sir. Heavy, fat or heavy sisters. Beautiful. Mm. You know, but then men abuse them and use them because they they, they want a friend so bad. They, they want somebody to talk to them because they've lost confidence in themselves and how yes, they sir. appear to the world. So they're they were ready and willing to give away anything to have some attention from a man. Yes, sir. Don't fall for that shit. I mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody that God has given life to has beauty within. Yes, sir. You just have to nurture that and bring it out. Don't go by the American standards of beauty. However, God made us that's your beauty now develop it you know be clean comb your hair <laughs> brush your teeth <laughs> <laughs> yes sir yes sir Go home with your head up and proud of who you are you not beyonce no you're you yes sir beyonce, beyonce. You understand? Yes, sir. Just believe in yourself, carry yourself in a decent manner, in an upright manner, and go out there and there's somebody for everybody. And don't give a damn about, you know, you, you got these ignorant people. Oh, look at his nose. Oh, look at his lips. He got that nappy here. I listen to that white man or white woman talking inside this black skin. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because they down us because they hate us. Yes, sir. But they know we're the original. Allah walk by. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. And thank you all for your comments and thank you all for your likes and your views and for supporting the People's Podcast. I appreciate that. And I see um, everybody saying thank you. Another great interview. Another praise be to Allah. My next question is, what is something that you've observed from your parents that um, in their relationship that, that you would, that you could maybe share with us about, you know, what we should look forward to or aspire to as far as a marriage? Well, I kind of, I kind of put it out there, Josh, because what I'm telling you, I learned by watching my father and mother, I've never seen them. And this is the honest truth. I'm not trying to protect my mother or the minister, I'm telling you the truth. Yes, sir. I've never seen my father hit me. Mm. Never. And I'm glad because nobody touches Mother Khadija. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to say, Dad, you got to put this God spirit aside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's a beautiful thing to see a man treat a woman right. Yes, sir. And it, and it helps her to develop and it helps you to develop. And, and the beauty that comes from them when things are going right and you, man, that woman just prances around you and want to serve you and want to make sure your your shoulders aren't too tight. They want to massage you. They want to check your toenail. They just want to be there for you. And it's the same for us. Yes, sir. You know, just, just be right and be patient again. And always listen to your spouse. Hear them out. You know, my father... Uh, did a study guide, uh, rise above emotions, you know? Yes, sir. That is, is, is a key thing. Everybody needs to read that uh, study guide. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because it's our emotions that wreck damn near everything. Yes, sir. You know, because we respond before thinking emotionally, you know? Half the people in domestic violence, or more than half, who are in there for murder, the emotions. They they now sitting in, in a cell talking about, man, I shouldn't have done that. If I had yes, just sir. went for a walk. Yes, sir. You know, if I just went for a drive, if I just went to another room. Yeah, man. Rise. Think about what's happened in in your life or well, in that moment with that person. But don't respond to it right away. Think about it and come up with the best solution and then re react to it. And hopefully your reaction will be the right one. Okay, powerful and great answer. And thank you again. And I can't stress this enough. Thank your family for their sacrifice as well. Uh, I see your comments. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. People saying awesome. Thank you for your um, uh, likes and views of the People's Podcast. Brother Joshua, you spoke earlier of the death threats that uh, you were receiving from the, uh, Jew, uh, the Jewish uh, people, I guess, at the time. Has there ever been a time where you were on security and you, at, and you went to your father with worry, like, that I don't think we should go here, or I don't think we should you know, do this because of that. Oh yeah, of course. Sometimes, you know, uh, it's, it's, see, protecting that man is no easy job. That's right, yes sir. You know, God got him, but we're there around him for these little foolish black people. You know, you don't have, you have a few white people uh, come up to him, not up to him, but come up to us and uh, talk foolish. 
And again, we go back to the rise above emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But nine times point ninety nine. <laughs> We have not had conflict because of the way we handle ourselves. Mm, mm, mm. We have canceled arranged uh, engagements and certain routes and things because of danger. Yes, sir. But 99.9% Allah has blessed us to walk away without any incidents throughout our travel, you know? Yes, sir. But Josh, would you ever go into, because of all of the positive responses, I hope that people are, are reaching out to you on Facebook or texting you or calling you of your interviews uh, with me by the grace of God, because you've helped me. People call me every day, please bring them back, please bring them back. Would you ever go into the ministry? Um, is that something you ever aspire to do? It's crossed my mind, you know. The messenger of Allah told me one day I'm going to be a great minister for him. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, I used to do most of my teaching in a bar. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. I find out, you know, I've been there drunk as hell <laughs> and everybody else uh, leaving, going to the mosque. They want to mm. find, because I'm preaching while I'm drinking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This was back in the day, though. I just got to let you know. It's not <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, everybody know Diesel, and uh, not, not the uh, brother Aaron. You know, we could bolo, weightlifter, uh, Sister Amy's husband. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's one of my converts. Mm, mm, mm. That. He heard me teaching in the bar. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is just naturally in me to preach because all I've been around is a man who preaches the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, around the dinner table, his <laughs> jokes. Sometimes they corny, but. <laughs> 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 but you got you got to laugh because it's so corny. So <laughs> you tell him, you tell him, hey, Dad, stick to ministry, man. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> <laughs> and let 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 Mustafa tell the jokes because that yes, boy tell some jokes, man. Musti yes, is crazy, uh, yes, quick witted, man. You just better watch yourself if you, if you're doing a signifier, you know, cracking on somebody. Musti's yes, sir. good. He, yes, he's the top as a racer. Yes, sir. But uh, ministry was, was that where I was at? You saying, brother Aaron? You brought brother Aaron oh, in. He's in here. Aaron was my first con. Yeah, ministry. Yeah, in the bar. But yeah, I, I believe I'll end up in ministry. You know, even if it's it's not in a standing up in in an arena or or a mosque. You know, as I walk the streets or where I go, you know, I'm always trying to tell someone what the Lord said. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. And thank you all for your com uh, comments. Um, a lot of people saying, thank you, sir. Allah walk by. Praise be to Allah. Would you ever write a book, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, one uh, uh, titled The Stairway to Heaven. And one on my life, you know, mm. my life has been so interesting from, from Boston, where I was born, New York, where I was raised, Chicago, where we came after mm. the messenger. Mm. Now I'm in Michigan, but we move around to the West Coast and Arizona and other places. Yes, sir. And, uh, I believe that uh, we will write a book about 
my world travel. All these things, but stairway to heaven would be the first one. And then an, yes, an autobiography on my life. Because I've been all over the world. I've been to so many countries. I've met so many presidents. I've met so many celebrities. Yes, sir. I'm from basketball players, football players, rappers, R&B singers, car uh, drag races. I, I've just, Allah has blessed me to meet all types of people. Yes, sir. All types of people. And I've experienced all types of things. So I think you would find my life most interesting. Absolutely. Okay, yes, sir. And thank you all for your comments. Uh, thank you all. Um, boom, boom, boom. Thank you all for your comments. Thank you, Sister Miriam. I see everybody's comments. I um, I wanted to ask you for the minister. He has a violin. You know, it's one of the things that we've seen him. You know, show another side of himself. Earlier, you said you danced. Uh, what type of dancing do you do, you do Brother Joshua? Or did you do? Oh, I I still dance, man. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you got to find a way to to just enjoy yourself and and dancing. I really enjoy the kind of dances I do. I can't even. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> from being around, uh, for, for 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 traveling around the world and going to all these different countries and places. I've seen dances. Yes, sir. You know, so I I make up my own. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I make up my own dances, and they do draw attention. And I'm not doing it for attention, but I'm just doing it because I can do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and even if you don't have rhythm, I encourage you to to dance just it's a release and it's an enjoyment i just move off the vibrations of the music mm. uh, almost every time i dance i come up with something different wonderful so josh i'm gonna come to atlanta and we gotta go out dancing so i can oh, done you. Deal, done deal. <laughs> yes sir yes sir yes sir that would be an honor um do you have any pictures or videos that you haven't released or we haven't seen that you will implement in the books in the future? Oh, I have thousands, probably mm -hmm. over, uh, literally over a hundred thousand or more uh, pictures. There, There's uh, footage of all the travel that we've done. Yes, sir. Everything has been uh, documented, but we haven't released yet, Crazy. you know. Yes, but soon, like I can, I can show you when the minister was in different countries with different presidents and how they respect and honor this man because of what's in his mouth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are presidents and kings, sheikhs and shahs and ulima, the minister becomes the main attraction. Yes, sir. He go, you know, he goes to their countries and their parades for this man. The president, yes. people that haven't seen their president in months, the minister get there, the president wants to see him right away, you know? It's, it's it's just amazing. Yes, sir. I had a quick question for you, sir. Um, when my father sometimes he'll be he he seems to be stressed out, and I say, Dad, you know, man, I wish we could go on a vacation. Let's go here. I want to take you. Let's go. Let's get away from Atlanta and go to another city because it seems sometimes the other city seems to appreciate him more when he sometimes he gets taken for granted because he's been in the place so long. For you with the minister. Um, you go overseas and they are loving him and then you come back and it's like, oh, hate speech and this is this is that. Did you ever want to encourage, ask the minister why he didn't stay overseas longer or, you know, did you ever ask him that? Well, no, I don't, 
No, you know, it says a man goes without honor in his own home. Yes, sir. You know, uh, the minister, I'm telling you, they fly jets and, I mean, parades. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The way the media is set up, you know, they're doing their best to keep your eyes off of that man and his work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they do whatever they can to twist his words and edit and chop it up to make him seem like some vile and vicious hater. But no, he loves us and those who have heard him, love him. You know, the Million Man March was no joke. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, close to two million men. So. Those were the ones, some of the ones that the media did not affect. Mm, mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they're losing ground. They're, they're right. continuously losing ground. And one day, inshallah, they're going to have a parade for him in America. Allah, Akbar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Well, uh, brother, I want to thank you very much. I see you all's comments and a lot of people showing you love, sir. And I want to thank you very much for coming on. I want. I just want to ask you one more question, sir, before uh, we and oh no, I didn't get a chance to ask you about well, two more questions about the celebrities. Um, some we spoke about Jim Brown. We spoke about Michael Jackson. Is there any other celebrities that you're still in contact with or that you have an affinity uh, for? Oh yes, sir. Flavor, flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was on uh, last night uh, with Big Daddy Kane and Flavor Flav. Yes, sir. And uh, we used to hang out, man. We had a lot of fun together. But yeah, there's my I, I mean, I know so many, many uh, celebrities. Mm. And the blessing is, is that. I can call them directly at home. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go through uh, any manager. I can call them direct. Yes, but uh, yeah, I have a lot of uh, celebrity friends, but Flavor, he has my heart too. I love uh, Big Daddy Kane. Yes, sir. You know, uh, we've been with P. Diddy and I mean, Nas. Yes, sir. Damien. Yes, sir. I, love, I love reggae. Reggae is my, my first love of music. Okay, yes, sir. When I was blessed to meet Bob Molly's uh, children, uh, some of them, they were running up to me, brother, you know, what's going on, your father? <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, yes, and I'm running to them like, yo, yo, man, tell me about your father. Because Bob Molly's my hero. I love mm. Bob Molly. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He's the bomb. And yes, so as I'm going to them, trying to find out about Bob, they knocking me down, trying to find out about Farrakhan, Crazy you know? Yes, so, so, so finally, we built a relationship and the minister has done music with Damian Marley mm. and the Stefan Marley. Mm, and, mm. and I put that together. You yeah, know that's do this, father, or I quit. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but there's something I would like to say is that I've done a, a lot has blessed me to put together a documentary mm. on my father. Yes, sir. And it hasn't been released. The Jews were so frightened of this documentary because we had a viewing at Savior's Day in Detroit and over 8,000 people came for the viewing. Of my Praise document. Me. Praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all keep your eyes peeled because it's the greatest documentary ever done on the minister. You got him singing. You got him dancing. You got him preaching. You know, you got him with his family. You yeah. got him in the studios making the music. You got Tina Marie in there. You got Trump. You got, uh, Shaka Khan, Stephanie Mills, little Jimmy Scott. You got 
I mean, it's just beautiful. So you've got all of this, you've got these different views, different sides of the minister that the people don't see them. And, you know, you always see him with a, a tie or a walking suit, but the minister was, he was getting down. And then, my <laughs> sister, <laughs> and then, yes, and, and then him, him and Wycliffe Young were freestyling about the midnight uh, disco. You know, mm, he was, mm, you, mm. you know, at the end, you know, the minister said that uh, people never see him like this, but uh, they need to come and see him in the midnight uh, disco uh, doing the calypso and stuff but yeah keep your eyes peeled for that my documentary praise be to a lot and can you really are you letting us know the name or is that like not off the thing can you let us know the name of the documentary the documentary's titled let's change the world okay beautiful Minister Louis Farrakhan. beautiful and and i'm so glad that you are allowing um, myself to interview you and the, the viewing audience of the People's Podcast because I want your word to put know behind all the work that you are help, helping the nation with and helping your father because that inspires sons, other children like, you know, my siblings and I to help our father and other people to help their, their parents behind the scenes as well. So I, I appreciate you for the work that you do with your father, your family, the nation. Uh, I love you very much, Brother Joshua. We love you. And uh, I thank you for coming on, and I look forward, inshallah, for you coming back for another part, sir, uh, very yes, sir. soon. Part four. Part four, <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, uh, not just the comments, but the if, 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 if your audience have questions, have them to submit them to you, and then yes. get them to me, and, and then I'll come back on and do that. But I noticed this time, uh, you didn't advertise your father's book. It's very important to do that. Yes, sir. I was I was, I was reaching down to go, to do it now, but you were on a roll. I didn't want to stop you. I didn't want to interrupt you earlier. I was like, I'm going to do it at the end. I was like, I'm going to wait until the end. I was about to go, you know, do my advertising now. Do your thing, brother. Yes, sir. But, well, I will start with my father's book. Yes, sir. I well, started with my father's book, A Soldier in the Movement of Christ, abdulsharif.com. Thank you very much, Dad, for your support. Um, of the podcast, my brother Rashad and his business partner Jamal Street Premier, they have a big announcement that my brother told me about today. They have a 4K drone and they're working on some things. He, he doesn't want me to announce it, so I'm going to let him announce it. My sister Miriam's uh, coloring book and children's book, ABC I Love Me. Please go get that on Amazon. My second book, my first book is No Father, No Excuse, which will be on Amazon very soon. Cleopatra is, is uh, my second book. Thank you very much for your support. My sister Naima has a dance, Stay On Point Dance Academy, LLC on Instagram. She did a beautiful job yesterday teaching girls how to dance, do ballet and all of that. My brother in St. Louis, Supreme Men's Clothing, look out for him, St. Louis, Missouri, 10835 West Florissant Avenue. The phone number is 314-528-555. BMW Entertainment in Phoenix, brother Ronald Muhammad, thank you very much for your yearly subscription and your, and your um, dedication to true hip hop. Sister Shelly Muhammad in Las Vegas, Designers of Composure, Colleagues Boutique on Instagram. Sister Tia Vinos, thank you very much. Flashcards, Black Millionaire Flashcards for Children. She's teaching young people how to economic and empowerment and development. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Brother Josh, for your patience. I'm not finished. I just want to make sure I get all of these sponsorships this uh, month because without you, the People's Podcast cannot continue to go. Cash app the People's Podcast ppcnaturesv.com, Black-owned HIV and HSV immunotherapy, Sister Shelly Muhammad, Sister Shireen Muhammad, Sister Hollytexture.com, Supreme Express, The X Factor and Transportation, Houston, Texas, Brother Chantel, your trucking company. Um, the, thank you very much, Brother Aaron, that Brother Josh was speaking about, who was his first convert. He sponsors akiras.com, 773-860-1696. Supreme Team Insurance, my brother, Todd X. McGraw, 803-521-2787, Brother Saladin Porter, Brother David Adams, and everyone who sponsors anonymous, uh, anonymously, thank you all very much. Brother Joshua, if you all have comments and questions, I know they have questions because they're going to be mad at me, Brother Josh. I didn't read the comments because you were on a roll. I didn't want to interrupt it. Your questions, please submit them to me. And for part four, I'm going to present them to Brother Joshua before. It will be question and answers from the 
the the viewing audience to brother joshua thank you very much sir i love you again love your family thank you all for watching assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam <laughs>